What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Now today on the table in front of us is something special. This is the Diablo and this is a Swamp Hollow Forge custom designed by my buddy Zeb who runs an excellent YouTube channel called Woodland Tactical. If you haven't had a chance to go over there you should. It is really worth your time. This, well, this is his knife. It is 1095. It is G10 with red G10 liners. It is built to his specs, and he was nice enough to send it along to me so I could take it out into the woods, and by woods I mean onto the property over here that my dad has so I could beat the crap out of it a little bit. And here's what I learned. Zeb, you designed one hell of a knife. Now, it is five inches of cutting on six inches of blade. It is 1095 high carbon steel. It is a little bit of a clip point. It has an exposed pommel uh, which with a lanyard hole, which functions as a bit of a head knocker, if that is your thing. The reason this handle is so long uh, is so you can get good purchase on it if you're going to swing it really hard. Uh, it works beautifully for processing wood. I did a whole bunch of that with firewood today just to see what it was like. It does really good feather sticks because you can choke up on it beautifully. Um, you can baton this thing. Uh, something that Zeb is a huge fan of, and I do a lot less of, but because of the way it's designed, once you sink this blade, you can't do big giant pieces of wood because it is not an enormously long blade, but once you sink this thing into a decent sized piece of firewood, you can just pound the crap out of it, and it's actually shaped in such a way that it hangs on all the way down through the wood. It is really, really well thought out. It is exceptionally comfortable. Now, I've talked about this. I like pocket knives that have this sort of rectangular handle, and one of the things that happens a lot, particularly in fixed blades, is they do a lot of shaping, which forces your hand into one place or another. But this thing has none of that. Uh, it's almost katana-like in its design, a little less rounded, but one simple shape with some milling on the G10 to give it purchase that allows this thing to be a really, really good user. Now, because it is 1095, it shows an awful lot of the wear from where it's been previously. Um, this is one beat up blade, but here's the thing, that is his style all over the place. The sheath that it comes with is equally interesting. It is leather uh, mounted to Kydex, and it's done in such a way that when you sink this thing home, the Kydex seals back up around it, and there's very little rock and very little noise. And when you use this leather strap to lock it in place, it doesn't rattle at all, which is a really, really nice feature. I love a good fixed blade. I have a collection of them. I will never use them as hard as Zeb does. But this is just a stellar design. And so I wanted to take a minute, A, give you guys a look at it. Even though you're not going to get one like this, you can go to Swamp, Swamp Hollow Forge and get something like it built for yourself if you're interested. I wanted to take a minute and thank Zeb for sending this along for me to look at. I think it's wonderful. I think it's tough as hell, and I think that it is excellently designed. The jimping along here for the thumb allows you, if you're going to do push cuts with it, uh, for larger materials and heavier materials, it works very well. Again, the choil is placed in such a way that when you choke up on this thing, you have a lot of control. It is just really thoughtfully designed. And I know Zeb put a ton of time and effort into designing this as he was having the guys over at Swamp Hollow Forge make it for him. And it just shows. This is a beautiful knife. This is not a long video. It's not a long video that I need to make. Just know that if you have in your mind a knife that you want built, if you think you know what's going to work for you, this is the evidence that you should follow through on that and have somebody make it for you. Zeb put himself, a lot of himself, into this knife, and he found the right person to make it for him. And the combined effect is one fantastic fixed blade knife. Let's go ahead and throw it up here just for giggles. You have one, two, three, four, five inches of cutting on six inches, <clears throat> excuse me, of 1095 blade. The overall knife is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven inches long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven inches long overall. The grip length is where this thing really shines. Look at this thing, man. You have one, two, three, four, five inches of grip area. I mean, <laughs> it 
There, you can move your hand around on this as need be, and it is comfortable in every possible grip. It is comfortable this way. It is comfortable this way. It is great this way. But I'll tell you what, if you're going to get in a gas station fight and you haven't had the Diablo on hand, you are going to be in good shape. This is an excellent knife. I wish very much that someone would see this and offers up the opportunity to mass produce these because I think mass produce these because I think they would sell like crazy. But more importantly, I'm just really grateful for Zeb. This is his baby. Uh, he sent this along to me, knowing, of course, that I'm not going to beat the crap out of it, but that I was going to give it a test run. And I promised him if I didn't like it, I was going to say so. And when I first opened up the box that he sent it to me in, I didn't know what to make of it. The way the handle is shaped, uh, the blade to handle ratio, a lot of things were going on there that made me stop and really ponder whether I was going to like this knife. But a couple of days out using this thing uh, to process wood and use it basically as a field and camp knife. And I got to tell you, I do like this thing. I really do. It is a spectacular knife. So thank you, Zeb, for the opportunity and for taking the time to put your thoughts into a design and having that design built so that we can take a look at it. This is the Diablo. I've been a Therapeutic Edge. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this or you know any of the knives you've seen on the channel, feel free to ask down in the comments below. I hope you liked the video on the way out. If you haven't checked out Woodland Tactical, please go do so. That guy works knives over in a way that I never will. <laughs> I'm glad he's out there doing it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.